Kiora, welcome to my happy place. If you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment so I know that you've been, don't be shy, and please enjoy. I thought I'd have a go at um, painting feathers like um, Stacy from Pink Poodle Crafts, and that was my painted one. And, but then I thought, oh, I didn't try her um, jelly print ones, and I'd like to try them first. Well, I'm using metallics, and it came out very faint, but very pretty. But I thought I'd have a, another go and um, thick it on, put it on a bit thicker, and see how I go. Um, so. Have a go at that. Snap it on. Get it all out of the road, otherwise I'll be getting um, second-hand um, paint on them. I've got a bit of paper over here that I'm just wiping off on so that I don't... Um... So I thought I'd use up what I threw out here so that I can... Um, um, go to nor normal paint so don't think that the oops I just mushed that up but never mind all right now where is my feather put it on there like that push it down tap it in and mm. Mm, it smushed that up a bit, didn't I? That's what it's looking like. Mm. Pretty, but not what I was hoping for. Um, I'll have another go. A small one. I might try putting it on the other side and see if that's easier. Now what I need, and I should have got that, is some paper. So I can just give it a good press down and see how that goes. Oh, that's going to make some pretty papers. Oh, that's not too bad. The gold is not coming out all that great. It's got purple in it, but it's looking quite nice. I might just add a bit more paint to that. Wipe off my brush. Use the rest of that gold up. See how we how we go. And put some more bronze on. Actually, I don't think that was bronze. I think that was the ruby red. But never mind. Put some bronze on it. Some more of the purple. Gets rid of that. Excuse my nasally sound, my sinuses are absolutely shocking again. I think I might put a different colour in the middle of that. Um, this lovely silvery type slate grey blacky colour, which is rather pretty. So we'll have a go at that. Let's see if we can get a couple of little feathers on there. Right, now I'll we'll give that a push down with that. See how we go. Oh, that's quite pretty. Yes, the gold doesn't show up very good. I think normal paint would go do better, actually, but... Oh, I showed on a bit of white paper, so it shows up better. But... 
good. That's good. I'm going to suck up all of that. Oh, some nice paper. Right, dunk that in there. Anyhow, a little tray here. We'll just move all these. Whoops. Um. Have a nice went out and bought a nice big rubbish bin because I only had a little one and it all went on my floor. But I've got this nice big one now and I can use it as a tray as well. Another surface putting things on, right? We'll use up a bit more of those, I think. And I think I'll just um, it on to the this is my homemade jelly plate that I've made I have got a big um, um, eight inch one but I don't want to waste any of this paint because I always push out Ooh, that's going to be nice floor to dry. It's my favourite place, the floor for drying things. It's looking quite cool. Then on the floor. Like that, and we'll get some more on here. Yeah, this one's quite translucent, but oh, nice and thick. And there's another green here. Just fluff that on. Don't want to waste any of it. Another green there, nice bright green. And a blue. Bronze in it. Another sheet of paper. And I'm just using copy paper. Did quite a bit of um, printing out for my daughter in law. And uh, she arrived with a, a ream of copy paper, and I'd already bought one. So I um, thought, oh, plenty of paper. Yeah. Interesting. I'm in a um those are looking like I'm in a 30 day um oh excuse me um art card six by four art card with um work it out with crystal and um so these will come in handy as a large paper. Right. Now, I think I'm just going to get my roller. Here is it. I bought a new little roller the other day. So let's have a look and see if it moves it. Not, not good enough to grab it, I don't think, but... Oh, that is pretty. Right. Get another bit of paper. I'm a bit out of shot there. I'm sorry about that. Right. If you haven't got a jelly print, a piece of perspex or a bit of glass is really good for doing it. Got some 
yummy, yummy colours in it. Oops, just moved it. Just smush it all. Try and pick up as much as I can. That's what that's looking like. You can see all the colours through it. And let's see if I can pick up the rest of it. <laughs> Don't like to waste any. Right. Yeah, so cool. Alright, get rid of that. See if I can pick up those last little bits of dry bits. Sorry about that. That's what that's looking like. Okay, I've got my jelly plate. It is reasonably clean <laughs> for the first um, six months. I left, kept it spotlessly clean. I'll just move you a bit. See it. See it. And. Um, but now I just a two tone greens in here. These are what paints that I first bought um, when I started. And this is my mission to. use them up. Now, where's my rub off? The trouble is I'm very limited for space. Now if I move my mouse out of the way I won't um, I won't um, accidentally turn yours off. Excuse me for reaching over you, but it's the only place I have got to keep my Know if you can see them but they are actually quite pretty I'm quite liking those don't seem to go right in the middle to be oh that one that one here sorry greens and right now just to add a little bit more paint on the top of it and see what happens mix it in too much um, otherwise you don't get the variance of colors this is a very Another little one that'll fit on there. Some on it. Right now, push down the middle of the feather. See if we get any better success this way. Pretty, pretty. This one's a very, um, very fine feather. Oh, that's pretty. I need a smaller white paper to keep to show you. and give it another push off the edge of the yeah that 
that better. Mm. I'm going to try my dirty hand. Show my old wrinkly hands instead. And I've had old wrinkly hands since I was about 18. Oh, that one's nice. Oops, sorry. Have the camera up so you can see. And it, um, of course, puts you at a funny thing for showing. Right. right, now I'll just take that off. Oh, that's cute. All the little feathers there. That is so cool. Just get it right out. Get it on here. Get it in there. Excellent. Right now, to clean that right off because we don't want to have all those colours coming through on the next one, which you would like on a um, on a normal one. Right now, yeah, what have we got? There's some purples and pinks, and I think this one is just about empty. Just give it a little squish down. Yeah. Oops. I just have some purple feathers. Um, what can I put with the purple? Purple and See how that goes. See how that goes. See what I get. Very mucky hands doing this. Well, I do anyway. I don't get mucky doing anything. Wow, that is so cool. That is so cool. Head over there. Oh, they're nice. is like. That is so cool. I don't mind if they don't all um, are really nice. I like those. Oh, the other side of it is pretty too. I quite like that, that it goes through and you get a different colour on the other side. Now, I'll put a bit of yellow in with that, I think. And we will. Ooh. I don't want to use that. I'll use it paper here. Get. See what we get. Oh, that is going to be yummy. Yummy. Oh, I do like that. Right. I didn't get any um, stencils out because I didn't think I was going to be doing jelly printing as well. Please 
please excuse me. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. Oh. Right. Now, what am I going to do? Give this a bit of a wipe off because we don't want a transfer of colours on the Right there. Get one of these to run that off for. Right. Okay. A little. For this one too. Now, I'm not quite sure what goes with orange. And I can't see my colour wheel. Yes, I can. What do I put with orange? Orange, reds, yellows. I'm not very good with um. mixing colours having not done this for very long. Mm. Now just got these last few feathers here to do. Do Feather on there. Right, and this one can go this way. And we'll get some paper. It's another wet, horrible day here today. of me. Right, it's pretty. I'm so liking these. Yes, people are going to be getting painted um, feathers on their happy mail. Let's put that there. A little bit more colour on this one. Oops. Oh. Oops, still got one stuck on there. Alright, so that's all the feathers I'm going to be doing. And this is what I've got to find my mouse. So I can take that down a bit so you can see them all. They're right, looking pretty cool. I'm quite liking those. Goes back down there, and I'll um, hmm, maybe I'll get another sheet for that. See, see what sort of design we get on it. I can take you back up a bit again. Don't need to see all my mess as well. Know if you could see it, but you can see the imprints of the feathers in it. So awesome! Right now, put something else on there, I think. Might as well do it. Now, these are um, fluorescent ones, and they're just about empty. To leave the hanks in it, see what happens. Now, I have to right. 
wipe off my brayer. Right. Ooh. Looks cool. Maybe the figures would look nice on there. So pretty. Go over this one. Okay. See what we get off it. Oh, that's pretty. Just coloured up the feathers a bit. Right. Bit of silver and a bit of oops, nice another nice big paint blob. Oops, always put too much. Um, always put too much. Oh, that's yummy. So nice. Oops. It's getting caught up on it. It's so cool. Right. My brain needs a clean. It is not rolling very good. Is, I think. Right now, what am I going to put on with that? A little bit of fluorescent green, maybe. This one's just about empty, too. These paint here are the cheap, cheapest I can buy without traveling, and they cost um, $3. dollars for these bigger ones but they're great for for jelly printing and things like that oh that's pretty very delicate is much brighter in um purse i don't know how bright you can see it all right now one more to clean it up Some orange and purple will make. As I say, I'm not really good on that. Alright, now where is my other brayer? I'm just trying my other brayer this one. That's actually quite pretty. And see what it looks like. Oh, 
Just drop the lid off my container for my little jelly press plate. Cool. That looks cool. I like that. I like that. This one over the top. Let's see what we get. Mm, yummy, 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 bright but yummy. I like that. I like that a lot. Now, do one more, I think. Video is getting on. Whoops. Whoops, far too much. And uh, what colour am I going to put in with that? Don't have any blue. I have a little bit of gold here, I think. I wonder how much we've got left in this one. Ooh. Not much, I don't think. This one might just about be finished. up all the little bits of what's on the plate. Just do that again. See what else I've got here. Use. that jigsaw piece for um, making um, clay pieces but the other end of it comes in very nicely on the, the mark making and that's what that looks like so oh, cool right. a bit more here see if I can get that shape what will we use a little bit of this purple something on the top. This nice bright green. Right. Yeah. 
way we but sad. Right. Let's see how this goes. How good you can see it, but Trini is quite cool. Right. And it's got a shadow print, which is also very nice. Okay, um, I shall come back when they're all dry and um, give you a flip through. Right, they're all dry now, and this um, was the very first one I did that I painted by hand, um, and then I thought I'd try the jelly print ones. I will go make some more of these, and it's funny, but the other side where it went through is darker. It's really cool, and then I went to the jelly plate, and... Um, some of them turn out really delicate, but I'm quite happy with that. And others are a bit more darker. Another delicate one. I hope you can see those okay. So I'm really quite pleased with them. They came out quite nice. Took a wee while to dry, but not too long. those ones so that's all of those ones and then I went to um, the paints and this is how the painted ones turned out with the multicolors and I'm really pleased with those can't get over how the the tips of this one are just so fine. You can see that. And it's them. And then I can't remember. I think I went to this one. These ones are the in-between ones. And then I put purple and turquoise on them. And this is how they turned out. Which I really like. And then if you turn them over. The turquoise has come through more on the opposite side, which is really quite cool. So that's them, and then we went to the orange and yellow ones, and they're more orange than yellow, but hey, I think they're pretty, and that's them. They turned out really quite cool. Um, so the yellow really didn't come through to the other side. No. So that's my lovely big bundle of painted feathers or jelly printed feathers. And then these are my jelly prints. I'll see if I can bring it up a bit without. No. This is where I was wiping off the, um, pressing down on the feathers, it came out really cool. I might do some more on them and make them into a journal, I don't know, or might use them. This, this one here is where I was just wiping off the extras. Maybe that is just a bit close. And this one. Maybe colors on like I don't know if it's picking up but these are all metallics and they're just gorgeous I love them this was just a rub off page and this was a rub off page and this was a bit of a push on the top of it rub off page as well right now this is what you get when you're not careful where you put them and 
you put them on something else that is thick with paint and dry. I got most of it off, it just looked, but I've oh, got a hole in it as well. But it's so colours on it are just so cool. I love it. This one here has got all little colours in it. I don't know if you can see them. Purples and oranges and yellows. It's really quite cool, but it shows the music paper through it. This one here was just a rub off one. Quite cool. I'm really quite happy with them. This one here you can see where the feathers laid. So that's really awesome. This one here was a very delicate one. I really quite like that. I don't know if you can actually see the colours in here, but they're really awesome. This, this one here, you can see where the felt, uh, feathers are laid. Really quite cool. Right there. There's another one. Just delicate. It's got a um, a creamy coloured paint on it as well. This one that I put the circles on came out quite cool. This was another one where I was just wiping off the feathers and taking the print afterwards. So that's quite, that's quite cool. It's the one that I did the. I uh, did a double take on, put the ziggly lines on it, and this is the the shadow print of the ziggly lines, which is quite cool. This here is pretty, very pretty. I don't know if you can see it, but the green is laced with gold. Really lovely. It was the second print of the circles. This was just a little take off, which which came out a little bit brownish in places, but I still like it. And then that was the second take of it. This has got um, gold lace through it as well, and that's the jigsaw pieces. that was just my roll off piece and um, that was a roll off piece as well which is really quite cool so those were my jelly prints and my fabulous painted feathers so thank you for being with me kia kaha stay strong and i'll catch you again soon